Quickly, Gavin! We need to escape! Quick! They've made off down the sewer rings! After them! We'll flush them out! Duh! I'm stuck! Go round the other way! I'll block this path! We're trapped! Like rats! Hmm, it appears to be our only way out. Mind you, don't slip, sir. At your service. Hmm, I'm afraid not, sir. Gavin, you plank, quick! What's that creaking sound? He's not going to hold, sir. Luckily, this rubble broke my fall. Oh, Gavin, who would have believed that I, Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator, would be a fugitive from the law and accused of being Jeff the murderer? We've been in some scrapes, eh, Gavin? But hiding in the sewers is certainly a low point. Maybe Werther was right. Adventuring is a waste of time. We have a thing in Peru. You cannot lock up the wind. Are we doomed to die here? I think not. Not like this. Watch those steam jets, Gavin. They could have your eye out. There is a great number of them, sir. A cantankerous old boiler. The pressure to get out is building. Watch those steam jets, Gavin. They could have your eye out. There is a great number of them, sir. <sighs> hmm, a code is needed. It appears we've been given a free steam key. Which way now? Find a way out, sir. I will stand guard here. It's all wet and slippy. Got it. I 
can't get a good grip. Mm. I'm quite sure I loosened it for you, Gavin. Schmuckle? Ah, Fiddle. Fancy seeing you down here. What are you doing down here? I'm just on one of my perambulations. I've heard there's been another murder. Is it true, Fiddle? It wasn't me, I assure you. It's most peculiar, but whenever we meet a tragedy has befallen someone, don't you think? What do you mean? What's that noise? Have the police ventured down here? My, my. They must really be after you. Make haste, Fiddle. I can't be seen associating with wanted criminals. It's not good for my reputation. It seems to me that you're being played with, Mr. Fiddle. But then again, aren't we all? There's more than one way to skin a rat. Can't hide down here forever, Fiddle. Remember, things are not always what they seem, Fiddle. Fiddle, I thought you'd been arrested. I've just escaped. You have to believe me. I'm innocent. We've all murdered people, Fiddle. The trick is to be rich enough so you can get away with it. Lord Arthwipe, it wasn't me. I was framed. <laughs> Whenever I do something despicable, I like to get away for a few days until it all blows over. Go and stay with my cousin Lord Wretchedly in the country. No one will find you there. There will be a train leaving from the station soon. Make sure you get on it. I'll let him know you're coming. Oh, thank you, Lord Arthwipe. I knew you wouldn't desert me in my hour of need. <laughs> Think nothing of it, Fiddle. You need to disguise your appearance, Fiddle. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> Try. Oh, yes. That suits you. That really does. No one will recognize you now. They're a little tight. Good luck, Fiddle. <laughs> You're going to need it. Oh, that looks handy. That's my lucky monkey paw. I won it from the Maharaja just after his house burnt down. Do you want it, Fiddle? You could do with some luck. <laughs> Take it. I insist. Thank you, Your Lordship. Is there anything I can do in return? I'm sure I'll think of something. It's Tiger Cordial, Fiddle. Do you want some? Ooh, it's got quite a bite to it. I feel rather peculiar. Surely there's a better way to use this.
We must get into the station or we will miss our train. Can't you hurry up, woman? Can't you hurry up, woman? I, I told you already. My sewing wheel is broke. How long does it take to mend a pair of gloves? I really am awfully frustrated. I really hope this works. You fixed it. Now I'll be finished in no time. Here you go, mister. As good as new. You are blocking my path, sir. I need to meet my wife and children. Sorry, sir. I've just got to carefully maneuver my car through this narrow passage. I can't take it anymore. Out of my way. My oranges! My lovely orangey oranges! Oh, my beautiful oranges. Look what you've done. You're all squished now. Hmm. The Butcherium. What a splendid selection of carcasses. Come on, Gavin. Let's step inside. Poor little critter. Poor little, it's totally helpless. Ooh, a cup of buttocks. What's in this meaf? <laughs> you don't want to know. I do enjoy the occasional beefcake at weekends. A meat mound. Yes, a meat mound. That's what it's called. It's like a hill of beef. Go on. Have a good poke. I don't mind. Hmm, what's this stretchy sack-like thing? That, my good man, is a donkey bladder. Eee oh! Take it. It would be an awful shame to waste it. Oh, I do make myself chuckle. Ooh, inexplicable ham. Admiring my chopper, I see. You've got mutton to be scared of. Pig's 
stomach is good for you. Don't believe the tripe. A DIY sausage machine. Hello, madam. Allow me to introduce myself. Mr. Lawrence, gentleman butcher and purveyor of inexplicable ham. At your service. Pleased to meet you. Meet to please you. Hello? Yes. They are here, all plump and ready for chopping up. You can come and collect them any time you like. What a grisly character. I'll be with you shortly. I'm just finishing this hard as iron gobstopper display. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this highly unstable pyramid. Oh, don't creep up on me like that. Easy, easy, nearly finished. Don't prod me. I'm in a very delicate situation. Don't. Don't. Yeah, no, sir. Don't touch the display, sir. It's taken me ages to balance these in this precarious fashion. Can we have some candy, Mother? We promise to be good. It's that man! I'm sorry, do I know you? He's the man who tricked us! The man who fed us spider webs! From a toilet brush! We've been undisguised! See? We told you it was him! And he's the one who's been doing all the naughty murderings, Mother! Good, good, darlings. I'm sure he's forgiven you. We should lock him in a cage! Such shrewd children. Oh, look, a human. What manner of shop is this? It's a toy shop. I make the finest automatonical toys and robots in all of Victorian London. But nobody wants to pay for toys anymore. Is that an automatonic boy? He's a robotic manservant. Understands everything you tell it to do. His mechanism is missing some components. The mechanical innards are all missing. I had to sell them for scrap. You won't find such complicated apparatus just lying around. It's not going to work unless you have all the components, is it? He seems fairly harmless. Yes. He seems fairly harmless. Yes. My, my, what a trunk. It seems to have an awful lot of junk in it. A 
a zoetrope. Spinning it creates moving images, but it takes a long time to draw all those pictures. The people that make those must be very talented. And handsome. An earthenware pot full of switches and knobs. Why, you could say it was a crock of dials. No cog do, sorry. We Would you care for a sausage? What a swell job. Do you want a sausage? There's only one person who can make robots as good as me, and no one has seen her for years, not since the incident. We must get into the station or we will miss our train. Do you like sausages? Sausage! Pendleton? No, bad dog. Drop that sausage, Pendleton. Popsie Daisy. Giddy goodness, look what you've made me do. Now I shall have to start over again. Wilfred, Willicent, what did I tell you about misbehaving? But it wasn't us, Mother. That's it. It's the naughty cupboard for you both. And neither of you should be getting any sweeties. We will remember this. We have a very particular set of skills. We will find you. Careful not to slip on those. You could lose your bearings. It's alive! As good as new. Do you want to take him for a test walk? Just be careful with him. That's the most complex piece of engineering. A cyborg sidekick? Ridiculous.
That policeman will recognize us if we go out there now. He will see us. We'll never get past him without help. We need a distractification. <laughs> Off you go, treacle teetering. You, sir, stop right there. What kind of man are you? I've been caked in treacle. I can't see. Blind. I'm blind. Officer down. Molesting police officers isn't nice, but now we can sneak surreptitiously by. Quick, sir. Quickly, get on the train. Next stop. Wretchedly home. Ah! Here we are, Gavin. Wretchedly. It's miles from anywhere. No one will find us now. It's getting late. We should make our way to Wretchedly Hall as soon as possible. There doesn't seem to be any trains back to London forever. Ah! <clears throat> uh, excuse me, dusty old lady. When is the next train to London? She's fast asleep. It looks like she's been waiting for quite some time. I don't think we can rely on the railway to get back to London, Gavin. We are going to have to find an alternative method of transport. It's closed and looks rather dejected. Ah! What a delightful village. Ew, mind your step, Gavin. The slaughtered lamb. I hope they serve tea. Well, well, well. Oh, my, a little pony. Ew, it's all slimy. What a curiously doleful beast. That there is a swamp pony, or bug blooder as we call him, also known as a mud trudger. The air is at home in the mud, is out of it. Looks like it is pining for the swamp. They love frolicking in the swamp, can cross it with their eyes closed. Good day, madam. Could you tell me how to get to Wretchedly Hall? You need to cross the swamp of sadfulness. But take care. There are strange things lurking out there. Oh, I'm sure I'll be perfectly fine. I used to be an adventurer. No one who goes up to the house is seen again. They say things have been coming out of the ground. Big things. Unnatural things. Try not to lose your way. Well, well. Ah, Gavin, look at this ruddy-cheeked young country gent. What's wrong with your nose? What's your name, young sir? Little Waxsmith, the blacksmith's son. What is it that you are doing? Playing kicky-muck. 
What's this? A neglected keg? This could still be a barrel of laughs. These bellows aren't going very fast. It's no wonder the furnace is cold. I flame the... I need more wind to stoke me furnace. Flames are nearly gone out. The melting bit, where things get melted. These bellows aren't going very fast. It's no wonder the furnace is cold. Good day, sir. I'm looking for Wretchedly Hall. Wretchedly Hall, you say? You're the third one this week. Lord Wretchedly must be very popular. As long as we keep ourselves to ourselves, he don't bother us. Little Watsmith, stop being so idle. It's not rotatifying enough to power the bellows. A good shake and it would fall to pieces. What a rickety windmill. It looks like it could snap at any moment. It's not rotatifying enough to power the bellows. A good shake and it would fall to pieces. Ah! Ah! Let's go this way, through the treacherous moors. An inconsequential rock formation. A bog apple tree. The fruit, like most things in the countryside, is bitter and untrustworthy. A half-hearted treehouse. Imagine how good that would have been if only they had planned it better. It's all falling to pieces. Oh, look, a peddling device stuck in the mud. I wonder where that came from. I can't reach it. That peddling machine is stuck deep. It will take a lot of effort to get it out. Yes. Would not work, sir. It's very cold outside. May we come in? Oh, he has a face like an angry satchel. The name's Doug. I'm a bounty hunter. Ain't nothing good about me. Ooh, bounty hunting. That sounds nice. I travel the world, hunting down things. There's something lurking on those moors, and I'm gonna be the one to catch it. Hmm, you seem familiar. You? What on earth are you doing here? I am an entirely innocent traveller, just out explorating the countryside. I can't talk now. Someone may see. I've left you a message in the toilet. Ah, good evening. Not more strangers. Oh, he's getting fed up with you foreign types. Coming in here, drinking my drinks and buying my food. This tin cup makes the ale taste funny. That's not the cup's fault. Hello, sir. I like your hat. Edwin Gray. Beast hunter, vampire slayer, etc. Quite a resume. What brings you to these parts? Have you heard of the thing that haunts the moors? No? Well, I intend to kill it anyway. I am used to the finer things in life, and I would hardly describe mouldy cheese as fine. Take it away! Mm, this cheese is soft and mouldy. What an impressive key! This 
This is my special bounty hunting key. Can open any lock. You wanna hold it? Go on. Try and touch my key. Say cheese! You cheesed my key. Well, I'll be damned. Don't look so cheesed off. You got something wrong with you, mister. I'd best brie off. I'm just popping to the lavatory, Gavin. Shan't be long. Oh, it's rather chilly in here. Is that a message? It's a rather large message. Is that a message? It's a rather large message. One should always wash your hands when you go to the toilet. Ha! Something is written on it. <gasps> a secret message. Meet me under the apple tree. That mysterious stranger has gone. He's left behind a tiny bucket. It's got a hole in the bottom. If you put anything in this broken pail, it would just run away. Here. What's the meaning of all this? Who are you, sir? It's me, Emelina. Emelina? What are you doing here? And why are you in disguise? I'm currently investigating some mysterious happenings on the moors. But that's not important right now. More pressingly, what are you doing out here in the countryside, Bertram? Oh, Emelina, I got arrested for a murdering I did not commit. Ah, yes. I did hear something about that. It wasn't you, was it, Bertram? It certainly was not, Emelina. How could you think such a thing? Of course, but I had to ask. Sometimes people do some crazy things for love. It, what was that? Nothing. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, the day started much like any other. You can skip on a little bit. Oh, pardon me. And as I was leaving Mrs. Dullsworth's house, I saw Jeff the murderer standing over the body of a flower seller. Before I had time to react, he ran off and leapt somewhat incredulously over an impossibly high wall. Then Sherlock turned up and arrested me. I suppose I was standing over a dead body with red ink stains on my hands, and it may have looked slightly suspicious. But it wasn't me, Emelina. I promise. Hmm, near the Dullsworth estate, you say? I'm sure Mrs. Dullsworth would have caught it all on her cameras. But why hasn't she told anyone? We need to prove your innocence. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe I can hack into her CCTV system remotely. Fly, Nathaniel, fly! Hold on one moment. Shouldn't take too long. Ah, here it comes now. Look, Bertram, photomographs of the murdering. And here is one of you and Jeff. It wasn't you at all, Bertram. Here is your proof, Mr. Fiddle. No one will disbelieve you now. Oh, Emelina, how can I ever repay? You should head back to London as soon as you can to clear your name. And then you can catch that dastardly Jeff the murderer yourself. I would love to come with you, but I have some unfinished business here to attend to. I'll tell you all about it one day. Mind how you go. There are some strange goings on out here on the moors. And watch out for Lord Wretchedly. I've heard some rather peculiar stories about him. So long, 
along, Mr. Fiddle. A forsaken plank could never let good wood go to waste, eh? And luckily, it just fits in my pocket. Careful there, that plank could cause a mishap. Little Waxsmith, look! I have fashioned a seesaw for you to play on. Look, Father, I'm a marsh hopper. Look at Little Waxsmith go. Whee! I'm flying! You can plank me later. <laughs> Cora, look at that. Those flames will melt anything now. At last, little wax. It's melting! It's melting! It's full of molten metal, just waiting to be poured into a mold. It's unbelievable! It's full of molten metal, just waiting to be poured into a mold. A makeshift skeleton key. Surely there's a better way to use this. Well, well. Oh, bucket. That won't work. It's very cold outside. May we come in? It's bolted tight. I can't pull it loose, sir. The cable is too strong. Oh, what's that over there? Hello, mate. Help poor Magwidge out, would ya? I seem to be all tangled up in all these old manacles and I can't seem to get them off. They're terribly uncomfortable. An 
escaped convict. That's very perceptive of you. But I'm not a bad man. I was arrested for stealing a loaf of bread to feed me family. That ain't such a crime, is it? Admittedly, I did stuff the baker in a barrel and push him down the hill. But it was in a fit of anger. And I truly regret it now. And biting the judge. That was a mistake too. But I'm a reformed character now. If you help me out of these rusty old manacles, I'll help you across the swamp. You won't get across the swamp without my help. Ooh! And now I'm free to murder ya! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, very funny. I bet you regularly have everyone in stitches. I'm trying to get to Wretchedly Hall, but the way seems quite misleading. You ain't gonna make it through the swamp of sadfulness without a map. Lucky for you, I've got one right here. Feast your eyes on this. All you have to do is follow the path on my tattoo. Be careful though, straight from the path and it's curtains for you. I got it done in prison to make crossing the swamp easy. Ah, you again. Draw a picture. It will last longer. Remember, you must stay on the path. Now you take care, sir, and don't tell anyone about old Magwitch. Or I'll tear your heart out and eat it. Like a sock. Come on, my little pony. Off you clop. I've started. That tree looks like a mermaid. That tree looks like a mermaid. Hmm. I cannot do that, sir. I'm being sucked under! I'm coming, sir. Oh, if at first you don't succeed, reconsult a map. Mind yourself on those brambles, Gavin. You could snag your jacket. What a rabid ram. It has a crazed look in its eye. Judging by the overgrown state of its fleece, it isn't used to human contact. Gaggle of screaming toads. The noise of these toads is deafening. 
wretchedly hall, all grey and battlemented. It has a very bleak frontage. I have a funny feeling in my toes. Welcome to Wretchedly Hall. <laughs> enter, enter. Come dry your bones by my hearth, so to speak. Thank you for your hospitableness, Lord Wretchedly. Oh, not at all, not at all. I'm glad of the company. We seldom get visitors anymore. Since Lady Wretchedly went mad and all the servants disappeared, I have so few people to talk to. My only companion these past few months has been Professor Scuttleworth. And I have a feeling he won't be round much longer. <laughs> but where are my manners? You haven't come all this way to listen to me whiffle on. Lord Arthwipe has told me all about your situation. He has? But do not fret. I know how these things can happen. We all have our dark sides, don't we? I don't know what Lord Arthwipe has told you, but I am quite innocent. And now I have the proof to prove it. Oh, really? Indeed. Tomorrow we shall return to London and find out who this Jeff the murderer is once and for all. Why, of course you shall, of course. But you must be weary. Tonight you must rest. Allow me to show you to your room. Feel free to treat Wretchedly Hall as your own during your stay. You may go whither and hither, anywhere you please, except for the attic. Don't ever go in the attic. Here is your chamber. I trust it will be to your satisfaction. Here we are, a nice warm bed for you. Now you two just rest up. Oh, if you hear any noises during the night, it will just be the rats in the walls. Did you hear that? A sort of dreadful scratching. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I am rather sleepy. Ooh. I am suddenly overcome with tiredness. <laughs> 